Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. I'm always so grateful for you. Grateful for this time that we can have to share together in the Word of God. And if perhaps you're running across this podcast for the first time, they're just basically four to six minutes long, going verse by verse through the Bible. And right now we are in the book of John, the Gospel of John, and uh, we'll be continuing that study today. We always go to the Lord in prayer as we begin our study because we know that the Lord's our true teacher. So if you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, we bless you. We thank you. We are so grateful for you to give us your word, to provide for us life and breath and, Lord, the ability to understand uh, more and more about you and your son Jesus and your ways that you want us to be in this world. We ask you by your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. And, Lord, that you will uh, indeed give us the power to be able to live according to that truth. And, Lord, we're going to bless you and we're going to be so thankful to you uh, that you do these things. In Jesus' name, amen. The title to today's lesson is The Judgment of This World. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 12, verse 31. The Apostle John wrote how Jesus said, He that loves his life shall lose it, and he that hates his life in this world and shall, shall keep it unto a life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause came I unto this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then came there a voice from heaven, saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. The people, therefore, that stood by and heard it said that it thundered. Others said, An angel spoke to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sakes. And in chapter 12 and verse 31 of his book, John shared how Jesus said, Now is the judgment of this world. Where we read, Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. The verse reads, Now is the judgment of this world. John began with Jesus' words, Now is the judgment, which means at this present time exists the separating, sundering, trial, contest, and damnatory condemnation and punishment of this world or belonging to the present earth, territory, region, and government. John shared how Jesus declared the time for the reckoning of the earth was at hand. The verse goes on to say, Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. John continued Jesus' words, Now shall the prince, which means, At this present time will the ruler, commander, chief, and leader of this world, or belonging to the present earth, territory, region, and government, be cast out. Which means, be driven away, expelled, and compelled to depart. John shared how Jesus declared that the leader and commander of this present earth would be expelled at this time as well. When we meditate upon John's words in this verse, we learn how Jesus said not only the earth was to be judged at the present time, but also the commander of the earth would be expelled. Jesus was to die upon the cross for the sins of mankind and thereby judge the earth in its present state. He would also cast out Satan, who is the prince of this world, as he defeated death, hell, and the grave, and made salvation available to every person who believes and trusts in him as their personal Savior and Lord. God's name was to be glorified in Jesus, to give every person an opportunity to be saved. And Jesus fulfilled God's plan of judgment and justice upon the earth. Next time, John shares how Jesus says, If I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. So read ahead, and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.